Okay, in the last uh, video we have seen uh, the conversion of an analog and a, a, into a digital uh, PI controller. The PI controller has very simple values. Uh, K, uh, KC is 2 and TN is 1 second and a sampling time of 0.2 seconds. Uh, we have s compared the step responses and here you can see the result. Uh, the version I prefer produced a step response of the pure PI compared with the blue analog one which has stairs uh, laying uh, above the blue curve. The version uh, Mr. Baumann, my uh, old colleague, prefers produce this curve. But what, what does this influence uh, the behavior in a closed loop system? This I want to demonstrate now with this closed loop system. Two PT1s here again 3.175 uh, time constant 1 here a PT, a second PT1 with gain 1 and a time constant 0.6 and a delay time block with a delay time 0.3 uh, and this controller then should be the PI controller uh, we have demonstrated in this paper. This is a good way to introduce the analog simulation program I prefer to use in my lecture, this um, the next steps is you know, to show you how to create a step a reference step response. That means a step unit step at this input, and we want to see the reference step response of the output with this given circuit with my simulation program. This is rather easy. First, information where you can find this. The um, uh, Moodle course uh, has to be found. My my programs, my tool programs, are in the Studiengang übergreifende Kurse Elektrotechnik und Informatik, named Toolprogramme Bayerlein. If you open this, you see uh, both programs I use in this lecture. So you should use both programs in this lecture and this is um, first WinDF C Sharp it's a digital simulation program and Rec C Sharp this is the analog uh, program so download please the um, zip file here Rec C Sharp run 3.18 zip this is the uh, package which contains uh, the executable file and um, of course, if you are interested in doing uh, C sharp development, uh, here you can find the complete source code of this simulation program in C sharp. But for our purpose, uh, do this, download it, and uh, start the executable. Uh, this is just uh, rec C sharp dot exe. Um, if uh, I have prepared this in my Windows, I have. Uh, opened um, the uh, program this is still open and I reopen it and then the program uh, opens uh, with <laughs> I select the wrong program Rexy Sharp of course I want to show you and I uh, put this uh, program into my uh, video window so you see now this fits to my window. You can check here the version 3.18 is the actual version. Uh, you see the starting language is German, but if you want to have an English menu, just click on the American flag button. Yeah? Then all comments and all uh, words are in English. Um, you see here a free area where we can locate uh, signal block diagrams. We want to copy the signal block diagram here into this uh, window and uh, also put in the parameters. So uh, let's start doing this. I see here the, the blocks I want to use. First block is the PI controller. I click on the block and locate this and click a second time. And if I click on a second time, then uh, this is uh, posted to my uh, area and uh, the 
parameter window is open and here I uh, click in the plugin K and the time constant one second and say OK. So the PI controller is defined. Now I go to the PT1 block, one click on this block, moving of the mouse, putting at a desired position, second click opens the uh, parameters of the PT2 block, of the PT1 block, 0.3175 was the number, is this true? 0.3175, this is true. Uh, note that uh, in my program it is independent if you make a decimal point or decimal comma, both signs are accepted in all my simulation programs, so uh, doesn't matter which uh, decimal separator you will use. The second PT1 I put in this position. This has the time constant 0.6. And if you want to uh, redo the parameter changing, click with the right mouse button on uh, the uh, element, then you get back the time constant. You see, I have not changed the time constant to one second. So this is good to to, uh, um, to check if your parameters are set in a good way. Now I add the branches and the summing point. First maybe a summing point. In the elements of signal block diagram here you can find uh, the summing point. Uh, I select this menu point and go with the mouse to a desired position where I can put this summing point. Uh, you see here we have done this and then we want to draw branches you can type in the W button on your keyboard or click on this menu then you are in the branch mode the drawing branches and that means uh, one click defines the starting position of a branch second click the end position of a branch click 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 you see with two mouse clicks for each branch uh, defines the position. If you have make a wrong branch, maybe to this uh, on this, uh, okay, then of course you have to go out of the branch mode with escape button yeah, or with um, drawing another uh, point. Uh, I think with the Escape button, this is a good way. You see here in the bottom line, now there is uh, the, the branch drawing mode is left. If you then click on the branch, you see the green points. So this is selected, and with the uh, delete button, you can delete uh, branches. Note that a signal block diagram here is uh, uh, not complete. I have, of course, forgotten. The delay time block. Okay, I can change this plan easily uh, to add the delay time block. You will see how to do this. Check if you are in a branch mode. If not, click escape button, then click on a branch, remove it, uh, add the delay time block. Where is it here? Delay time block. Put at this position the delay time in my a signal block diagram should be 0.3 seconds uh, and now I select the branch mode again and complete the circuit with these three branches. Uh, you see a branch uh, could be uh, located with two single branches no problem the only thing what we at this time miss is the minus sign for the negative feedback the minus sign uh, can be found with, um, you, know, you see, you cannot see this in, in my video, but the minus sign is uh, also an element of the signal block diagram, the bottom point minus, and then I click on a branch, then this branch gets an inverter. If I click on another branch, of course, uh, you know, now you are in the selection mode, you have a minus sign you want to remove it no problem select the minus mode and if I click on a branch again the minus sign is removed
but I want to have a minus sign there, so I click on minus sign, and we see now uh, our signal block diagram. Just check the parameters, block gain t to 1, 0.31751, 1, 0.6, uh, and block gain 0.3. So this is a plan described here in my paper. So now I can calculate the reference step response with this button. Um, so I open this. Here are some parameters to do. I shift this a little bit back. You see I have to select the block bar, which I want to see the output signal. This is block 4. My block 4 should be the desired output. Here you can select the inputs. A signal block diagram can have more than one input and you can select the input numbered with 71 and higher values. Uh, here you have to select the time range. At uh, my system I want to have 10 second horizontal axis time range. Uh, here you can define the input step amplitude. We want to have unit step, so this is 1, that's the default value. And if I click on recalc, uh, the computer calculates the reference step response of my system. And here you see the resulting curve. So look for this between 4 and 5 seconds. The reference step response reaches the maximum point and here settles to the desired value 1. To compare this with digital uh, uh, system, I have to store the curve uh, to a yeah, text file. Um, if you click on this, uh, I have prepared this already. Uh, I have to name this reference step response PI with 2 pt one sim. Uh, look for my uh, folder is temp lecture 2020. If I click on uh, Speicher and Store, uh, then you will see the curve. I have a quick look into this curve. What have we produced here? This is a .sem file. That is just a simple text file. You can open this with uh, editor, uh, open with text editor, and then the text editor shows what happens with this curve. Here you see numbers. Each line is one point. Uh, 512 points. The first value is the time value, then you have a, a blank, and the next number is the, uh, the um, um, vertical, the y value. So you see here uh, just a text file with, with numbers, and this text file can be imported in my digital filter program. That was the next step I want to introduce. So this stops. You see, uh, I have calculated the reference step response with an analog filter, and now we have to go to a second, my second uh, simulation program. This is Windy FC Sharp, which can simulate the digital filter curve, and then we can compare them. And then you will see what happens with my digital filter. So the video stops here, and I start a new video with the simulation of the digital system. Thank you.